the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer this Mass for the repose of the souls of Elena Longarini, Edward Dodlin, Jesualdo Ventrovato, Manuel Neves Pereira, and also special intentions of Darcy Wixton, whose birthday we celebrate today. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ 
had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved son. Grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come, buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk, without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that do not know you shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found, and call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked person forsake their way, and the unrighteous person their thoughts. Let the person return to the Lord, that he may have mercy on them, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the one who eats. So, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the thing for which I, for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, 
And everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever, whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world? But the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies. For the Spirit is the truth. There are three that testify. The Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three agree. If we receive human testimony, the testimony of God is greater. For this is the testimony of God, that he has testified to his Son. The Word of the Lord. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. In his preaching he proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me, and I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Do you remember attending a baptism ceremony? If you have, then you'll remember that a priest or a deacon, while pouring the blessed holy water on the forehead, I baptize in the, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So, with baptism, what it does to us is that it cleanses and removes us uh, the original sin, which we have inherited from Adam and Eve, as a result of being born into the human family. And besides being cleansed of the original sin, we also become incorporated into God's family and become God's children. I'm sure you're wondering, but why did Jesus get baptized? Of course, Jesus was sinless. Our Blessed Mother, at the moment of her conception, was preserved from the original sin and remained sinless all throughout her life. So Jesus did not contract original sin like the rest of the human family. And Jesus being the second person of the Most Holy Trinity, who is eternally begotten of the Father, did not need baptism to become part of God's family. So why did Jesus participate in our baptism? Firstly, by blessing the waters of Jordan and subsequently blessing all baptismal waters we have and we will use in all of our baptismal ceremonies. And second, 
to institute baptism as a sacrament. And by way, fulfilling the promise God the Father has made to us in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, there are two miraculous crossings of water. The first is the most famous crossing of the Red Sea at the beginning of the Exodus. And the second, the crossing of the River Jordan at the end of the Exodus. When Moses parted the Red Sea, he made, he made a clear path for the Hebrew slaves to safely travel across the dangers of water and the Egyptian army. When priests carried the Ark of the Covenant on their shoulders, as soon as they touched the River Jordan, the water once again opened up and made it possible for the people of God to enter into the Promised Land. When Jesus was baptized, unlike the opening of the waters from the Exodus accounts, Jesus opened up heaven itself for us. As soon as Jesus came out of the water, heavens opened, and God the Father spoke to His Son and to the world, and God the Holy Spirit descended upon Jesus. The Old Testament Exodus wasn't meant to be a physical journey from Egypt to the Promised Land, but a spiritual journey that is a journey from slavery to freedom and from death to life. And that's what Jesus accomplished through baptism making it possible for us in our baptisms as God's children to be able to enter into and inherit the true promised land, the kingdom of God in heaven. I'm not sure if you realize it or not, but what happens to Jesus after he was baptized is that he began his public ministry. So baptism doesn't mean for us a Freedom 65 where we can retire from being actively Catholic or like obtaining a visa that you, once you have it, you don't have to do anything else. Instead, like what St. Augustine of Hippo has said, God who made you without you will not save you without you. Although the, con the, although the kingdom of God is handed to us freely, we can lose it by failing to live out our faith. When we celebrated our baptism, we received the Holy Spirit and we were anointed for mission to live as children of God and children of the light and to carry out the mission of Christ and the church in the world today. Remember that Jesus, when he was born, it was the dark of the night because Jesus is the true light that enlightens everyone. And we, as the children of God, more than ever today, have to be the children of the light. By being the light that shines in the darkness, and as if the stars that were able to lead the Magi to Jesus Christ. Remember that light, light shines in the darkness. And as the darkness grows, so does the brightness of the light. The world is suffering from darkness, so we have to be the light. Their dear brothers and sisters, be the light, be Jesus to others, so that we may be able to lead them to our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us profess our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. On this day the heavens were opened, as the Spirit descended upon Christ at His baptism. In prayer, we ask the Father to unseal the fountain of His blessings upon the world. For the Church, like her Lord, the beloved of the Father, that His favor may always rest upon her, and His Spirit overshadow her with truth and power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those entrusted with the work of the government, that they may serve the cause of right, and strive to establish true justice on earth. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have become lukewarm in their faith, that the Spirit given in their baptism will rekindle faith and love in their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For ourselves and our community, that we may eagerly follow Christ's call at our baptism and establish true justice on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our sick, especially Pasquale Di Pardo, Freddy Liberta, Leah Messina, and Crystal Rick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the departed, whose memory we recall that the power of God's grace may bring them to the fullness of glory, especially Gesualdo Bentrovato, Manuel Neves Pereira, Elena Langarini, and Edward Dodland. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Almighty Father, by our baptism, you have adopted us as your sons and daughters. Hear our prayers through that favor which rests on your beloved Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice and yours, for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
For in the waters of the Jordan you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us, and by the Spirit's descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. <laughs> May quality therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Elena Longarini, Edward Dotlin, Jesualdo, and Trivato, Emmanuel Neves Pereira, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the 
Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs> takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Nursed with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Amen. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.